Hi folks, welcome back. Um, a little something a little different today. I'm down underneath the boat. Uh, I'm working on the box keel. Trying to get the skeg into place. Um, this is really a two-man job, but unfortunately this one old fart's going to have to try and do it himself. Um, the skeg is quarter inch uh, stainless steel channel. And I had it cut last year and tried to fit it myself last year wasn't very successful at it so i've put it off but i'm really at the point where i can't put it off any longer um, because i've got so many other things that are dependent on this being in place one of them is uh, fitting the rudder and stern tube and a few things like that so um, i may not be able to get much video of this um, i'm gonna have both my hands occupied and i don't can't fit a tripod down here so I'll try and take some still pictures and I'll overlay some text on that stand by one thing I didn't account for when uh, I built the frame that holds the boat is uh, space for the skeg so as you can see the bottom of the keel sat directly on this frame originally and that was perfect for supporting it when we turned it over but uh, now it's a real pain in the ass because it's in the way. Um, I've cut away most of the support and uh, I've had to put in a ratchet strap just to make sure the boat doesn't go anywhere. I know it wouldn't fall, but um, the only supports for the entire boat right now are, are the frame that it was rolled on, which is certainly strong enough, but... Uh, If I remove the support, there's a chance that the frame could spread and be a real pain in the ass trying to get it back together. The keel is blocked up uh, ahead of this frame, so I don't think I would damage it. Um, this is the cloth that I had attached to the frame um, that the keel sat on. So I'm just going to get out the old hammer and chisel and uh, make myself some room to uh, be able to work. I think that's going to give me enough room. Okay, what we have here is the backing plate in the bottom of the box keel. Um, that's pretty deep. That's right at the limit of what I can reach with my arm. Uh, so in lieu of having a, an extra pair of hands, I threw about a 25 pound chunk of uh, lead on top. And now I have the fun of going back down underneath the boat again and uh, trying to get a nut on this thing. Um, more later. So here we are looking down in the box scale. Uh, the backing plate's in. I've got the first bolt roughly lined up. Um, I've been in and out of the boat probably four times already. Uh, so if I'm breathing hard, it's for a good reason. So here I am back under the boat. I really don't like it down here. But I managed to get the keel bolted in. You can see the white part is the wedge that I had to build to uh, angle the skeg and keep it level. I don't know if that was a design flaw or it was intentionally done that way, but it was a major pain in the ass having to build that thing and get it in there. But after many contortions and trips up and down, 
I did get it in. It's bolted into place now. I got it to level and plumb. And I've got my mock-up shaft in. And it's perfectly perpendicular. Now the problem, now I look up. I can see it here. My hole is a little off. A little off center. Um, I can fix that easy enough. Um, so there you have it. It's been a long time, I'm glad it's in there. I really don't ever relish the thought of having to take it out.